you welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message if you're new to this channel I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's gonna bless you your graces are gonna be imparted onto you and then God is gonna visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed he that receives a prophet as touching the office you can receive a prophet in the name of your brother what you will receive is information about the family welfare that's a brother's reward please listen discernment the lord was in this place and i knew not discernment discernment two men were going to emmaus and the resurrected christ was in their midst but because they lack discernment, proximity does not just mean you will be blessed. It takes discernment. They were with Jesus and yet it had no effect on them. The Bible says they sat at table when he broke the bread. Their eyes were opened and he vanished. He didn't have the time again to talk with them. A season of discussion, they probably would have become apostles too like Paul. If they maximize that time. But time was going and their eyes were closed. Discernment. The miracle of open eyes is a real miracle. Then open he their understanding that they might understand scripture. Hallelujah. Listen, if your eyes is closed, you can stand near breakthrough. You can stand near anointed people and never have the eyes that see. The Bible says in Sodom and Gomorrah, are we still together now? We're about to pray that in Sodom and Gomorrah, when the angels came to the house of Lot, the man there wanted to sodomize the angels and Lot was even willing to give his daughters. And the Bible says the people refused, they were hesitant. And what happened was that the angels drew Lot in and struck them with blindness. And the Bible says they wearied themselves in front of the door. In front of where? in front of an opportunity in front of an anointing in front of a season but because your hand can be well if your eyes is closed you will weary yourself someone needs to pray this man i'm always calling my father this woman i'm always calling my mother this one i'm always calling my elder brother this one i'm always calling a ceo who is he in the spirit? What grace was upon this woman that even though she did not go to school, she raised eight children without begging. That is more than hard work. There is an anointing behind the frail, uneducated woman. If all you are seeing is just mama who can set firewood, you will not receive anything. But the day you look at someone who is captain over many, a woman who did not go to school and raise children and the least of them is a noble personality there is a grace you need to start seeing men for what they stand for in the spirit he said no we no man after the flesh is someone learning so number one discernment number two the obedience of faith seasons will always demand that you take action seasons will always demand that you take action the awareness of the seasons alone does not bring you breakthrough the man in john 5 knew the season but he did not have the grace nor the skill to take the action while i am trying i made efforts mm. this is where wisdom is profitable to direct because when the art head is blunt there will be efforts but there will be wastage you need the grace and the wisdom that directs the action for someone there is a season where god tells you go and register that company fast there is an unusual grace nationally territorially and spiritually there is a vista that has been opened for certain things there are certain people when a season opens for you you should go into fasting and prayer immediately because there is a grace that god is releasing it's like an unusual portal if you were not in the upper room on the day of Pentecost, even if you went to ease yourself, that is it. Because the, 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 it came on only those who were there. 
if you had attended the lecture for long and you say listen let me run and go and greet my mother you will return back and find out the holy ghost god loves everybody but he visited those who were waiting in the room when you discern seasons it's a call for responsibility for someone you are in a season right now where you have an opportunity to establish strategic relationships because according to the law of seasons rainy season always comes with a letter from dry season i am coming dry season always comes with a letter from rainy season don't just enjoy rainy season read the letter that it came with every season comes with a letter from another season coming this was the mystery of pharaoh's dream it says five um, um uh, 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 the, the seven seven fatted calves and then the lean ones ate them twice and joseph said it's the same thing god is showing you a modus operandi that cannot change for these seven years now make max for someone god is giving you this window of opportunity stop living a fake life maximize build relationships build capacity because there is something called your season of appearing and john remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing man of god now that nobody has identified your grace yet now that nobody is placing a demand on you don't go around saying invite me prepare for the seasons so that when the time comes you you have, would have built stamina to survive the demand because if you fail in the day of battle if you turn aside the diagnosis is that your strength is small number three the third way we maximize seasons is through the mystery of sacrifice please listen listen sacrifice is not all about money in fact sacrifice is not even about anything material it's a spiritual transaction so when i say sacrifice don't just shut your mind to think you are talking of money money is the least expression of sacrifice the first sacrifice is you please listen carefully sacrifice the bible says gather unto me my saints psalm 50 and verse 5 they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice when baal refused to answer and the prophets of baal exhausted all their skill and their option the last key to provoke the realm of the spirit in their thoughts and imagination was to lacerate themselves they started by lacerating the animals it did not work they came to themselves there is something called a living sacrifice he said i beseech you brethren romans 12 and verse 1 that you offer your bodies unto god a living sacrifice he calls it holy and acceptable unto god and the bible says it is your reasonable worship or act of service and then verse 2 says do not be conformed to this world is the greek word aeon it says but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may be able to prove that which that good acceptable and perfect will of god paul said let no man trouble me i bear upon my body it is not only the anointing that is on me there is a scar that is a testament that i stretch myself to maximize seasons there are times where you pray like never before there are times you fast like never before there are times that you give like never before there are times you serve like never before seasons word of life hear me when a visitation came to the house of cornelius in acts chapter 10 I hope you know that was the foundation of the experience of the Gentiles into the faith. From chapter 1 of Acts to chapter 9, no Gentile had the privilege of partaking of that life because salvation was for the Jews first. Let me show you somebody who pulled the testimony of salvation from the Jews to reach the Gentiles. When Peter came to the house of Cornelius, the angel appeared to Cornelius and he said two things. There were two things that made this possible. One your prayer to your arms this is what brought me sacrifice is never complete there is a difference between giving and sacrifice the difference is that it will cost you 
I will not give unto God anything. People have abused the issue of sacrifice. Once you hear sacrifice, people just think you can give a lot of money and not give sacrifice because it's not about money. God is not a politician. God is not a, I mean, he's a God of heaven. You can carry money and drop it and the realm of the spirit says nonsense because if there is a vetting system in the realm of the spirit before a man's giving is approved. The Macedonian church first gave on themselves before their substance is someone hearing now but let me tell you sincerely even god as powerful as god is he did not change the season of sin and the dominion of sin over man by casting it god did not cast sin out of man even though he was the creator of the heavens and the earth he did not send angel michael he didn't send gabriel he didn't send the four living creatures when it was time for him to take the issue of the destiny of man serious he sent his son his only begotten at that point john chapter 3 this was jesus himself teaching nicodemus the dynamics of the kingdom he came to him by night the bible says nicodemus came to him by night and said rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these miracles except god be with him and that began the discussion that led to chapter 16 for god so loved the world that he gave god so loved the world he knew that there was a season an opportune time and he gave jesus when jesus was at gethsemane he was almost tempted to renegotiate salvation can you take this cup off me but god was determined to see that men are saved if you use one thousand naira to buy a drink it means you value that drink more than the one thousand that's why you are able to part with it so the the apostle said behold what manner of love the father has bestowed upon us because he conferred us he brought us as many sons today jesus is not the only begotten of the father he is the firstborn among we the begotten because of sacrifice please hear me please hear me i'm wrapping up now whether it is satan you serve or jesus you serve you will always walk with the law of sacrifice if you choose and donate yourself to the devil the first thing he will demand of you is sacrifice you choose to serve a herbalist the first thing he would demand is sacrifice you come to god it is in the matter of sacrifice that both god and satan agree that it is a law escaping sacrifice using the guise of christianity is a joke let me tell you sincerely and i submit to you there are dimensions you will never step into until you understand the mystery of sacrifice i wish i had time i would have told you my stories don't think people just come out of nowhere that, that is a joke the realm of the spirit is so strict in its operation you cannot bribe your way through mm -mm. ask cain and abel they, you, you you can't manipulate your way through he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake you know why because there is blood dripping upon their altar when a, a death sentence came by a genuine prophet in chapter 38 of isaiah to hezekiah he said okay i respect your ministry i can't doubt you you have a credible voice but leave me and god he turned his face to the wall he didn't say god add yes he said remember when did you change oh god when have you started ignoring sacrifices have you forgotten Can I tell you the truth? There are men who are standing today upon the sacrifices of many years they have built. It has risen as a memorial in the realm of the spirit. Yes, sir. When Cain killed Abel, he thought everything was all right. The blood of Abel went to the altar in heaven and started crying. And God had that voice. There are people you cannot touch. The blood upon their altar has a potent voice no enchantment and no divination against them can stand hallelujah please rise up on your feet you 
your day of visitation your day of visitation your day of visitation the bible says in hebrews chapter 4 help that lady please he said they heard the word just like we did but it did not profit them not being mixed with faith in fact the bible says it this way there remained a rest there is a sabbath for the people of god he says that if they had received the sabbath he would no longer talk about it that means every year kept proposing a sabbath god was saying you can step into certain levels of rest for someone here maybe you were in this convention last year and god gave you an opportunity but you were not discerning to step into your rest now god has granted another opportunity again maybe a man of god according to god's schedule you were supposed to have contacted an anointing last year and by now your ministry should have scaled heights but you did not discern i pray that like jacob you will not waste this second time jacob wasted it in chapter 28 and chapter 32 he was strong enough to say i'm not leaving you we are going to pray just one minute and then i'm going to respectfully plead with our father to come and stand in his capacity and declare because jubilee you see is a feast that goes with trumpets the assignment of a trumpet is to announce an end of a season and to open another the ram's horn was a mystery shofar even the return of christ will be by the trumpet the blast of the trumpet of an archangel the feast of trumpets is a mystery sorry we may not have the time tonight but let's pray is someone ready to pray prayer point number one say father one more time louder say father in the name of jesus i decree and declare release discernment upon my life open my eyes to discern and maximize seasons go ahead and begin to pray Open my eyes. Someone pray. Someone pray. Season. The miracle of open eyes. The miracle of discernment. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Prayer point number two. I'd like you to pray. The grace to take prompt action. The Bible says when the Lord came to Abraham in Genesis 22, it says, Abraham, take down thy son, thy only son whom thou lovest, and take upon a mountain that I will show you. The Bible says, Abraham arose early. Obedience is time dependent. You are going to pray for grace to take the necessary actions promptly are we together it takes grace to take action on time say father, father in, the in the name of jesus i receive empowerment, I receive empowerment to, act in to act in obedience lift your voice and pray father, the grace for obedience obedience, obedience in prayer obedience in fasting obedience in keeping to the terms of scripture the obedience of faith hallelujah hallelujah he said now that you know these things happy are you if you do them it is not knowing that brings you results it is the grace to engage the truths that you know the last prayer point you're going to pray and say father grant me the grace to make the requisite level of sacrifice in this season that will shift me to step into the blessings of jubilee lift your voice and begin to pray the grace My father the grace the grace, the grace for sacrifice Level of my life. Lord, I ask all God for the grace to know what to do, to know how to do it, to walk in what I know. 
In the name of Jesus, hear me. For some of you, the sacrifice that God is demanding from you right now is extended periods of intense consecration and prayer. For some of you, the sacrifice that God is demanding from you right now is the extended period of word study to camp with Jesus till something falls upon your life. For some of you, the sacrifice God is demanding right now is a prophetic seed from you. Not something you reach down a pocket and remove as if you are bribing God. Something that there is a difference between Ishmael and Isaac. When you give Isaac, you will know. Listen, listen, listen. I fear God and I love you too much. I will not deceive you. There is a place of commitment, a sacrifice that touches the altar to say, Lord, this is for my children. Ending, I, I wish I had time. I would have shown you a king in the Bible that during a time of war, defeat was imminent already. And he took his son and slew the son, the first son. The Bible says an indignation rose against the people of God before God. There are seeds that can change seasons. Believe me. There are some of you, your church is not opening up. Stop roaming around and going on in circles and making all kinds of assumptions. This grace bar, if it is not there, it is not there. It's as simple as that. There are people in business, respectfully speaking, you have tried and tried. Worry is a place, a land of abundance. You can be in a city, yet spiritually the two lift gates have not been opened. Yes, sir. Just because you are in a city does not mean the gates are open. You can be in a city for many years. I come from the north and when you pass many northern states, there is what they call a city gate. It's a prophetic thing even though most of it has a lot of witchcraft connotations. Until you pass that gate, you are not yet in the city. Some of you have been in worry for 10 years, 20 years, but in the realm of the spirit, you are still outside the city. So the blessing and the riches from that city does not come to you. Because the Bible says, as for the earth, out of it comes bread. It says the increase of the, the earth is for all. Where is your portion? Because God is a God of portions. You need to provoke certain seasons. Sacrifice works on the law of death and resurrection. Beloved in Christ, thank you for watching this video. If you are new here too, I would entreat you to kindly subscribe to this channel for me and then hit on the like button. Also, I would want you to share this message across. I would want you to do one thing for us. Kindly tell us in the comment section where you're watching us from and you've got any testimony for us. Kindly let us know. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.